<laughs> How's it going, brothers? My name is PewDiePie. And you're very welcome to... I speak a lot of Swedish in my videos. And I always see you bros ask me, what does it mean? I want to know. That's exactly how you do it. So I'm going to teach you 10 very useful Swedish sentences that you can use in any day of your day. Yeah. I made a video three years ago, actually, teaching some swear words. So I guess you can say it's kind of part two of this. Three years later. I think I also said in that video that if I ever reached 100,000 subscribers, I would strip on camera. If I get 100,000 subscribers, I'll do it. Well then. Perb. <laughs> I get it. You've never been this turned on, but please put your pants on. You weren't wearing pants to begin with. I probably should have realized. Anyway, here we go. The first word is fine. Not fan, not like you, or like the It means damn, in a more meaner way, I guess. All right, say, say it after me. Fan. Okay, that was pretty terrible. Don't worry, you'll, you'll, you'll get there. The second word is rumpa. It means butt. In a sentence, God damn, you have a beautiful rumpa. Or, I wanna put my face in, in that rumpa. And possibly live there for a while. Third word is kiss. Now you may think that kiss means this is this is not kiss in Swedish. Kiss means pee in Swedish. You have to be very careful. If you say kiss me, then I I am going to pee on you. It's the Swedish rules. I'm sorry. Maybe you like it. I don't know. The next word is nipple, which in Sweden means bröstvårta. So say it after me. Bröstvårta. As in a sentence, uh, sorry sir, but your breast water is showing, please cover up, you dirty, dirty slut. Alright, so here's a sentence that if you ever meet someone Swedish, you have to say this to them. Because it's very flattering and uh, we love to dance. So if you ask someone to dance, the sentence in Swedish is, Vill du hongla? Which is, do you want to dance? Vill du hongla? Just ask them that and it, it will be great. I'm sure. You will thank me. Trust me. This is gonna be great. <laughs> Another great word is uh, kop. Say it after me. Edgar, shut up. Doshan! Sorry. So say it after me. Edgar, Doshan! kop. It basically means lubricator. For example, in a sentence, I am so sorry, I forgot my kop. Could you please let me borrow yours? Dorshan! The next word is bra. Bra basically means good in Swedish. Say it after me. Bra. As you know, means bra in English. And in Swedish, it means good. Coincidence? I don't think so. Another great word is smörgås tårta. It's not a swear word, but it can technically be said as a swear word if you say it loud and aggressive enough. So say it after me. Smurgos torta. Now a little bit louder and more aggressive. Smurgos torta. And even further, Smurgos torta. Smurgos torta. It basically means sandwich cake. For example, in a sentence, I would like to shove a Smurgos torta in my face. If you're traveling to Sweden by car, you might come across a sign that says. I know what it seems like, and we're not that weird in Sweden. Well, maybe some. <laughs> it basically means entrance. Which I know might seem even weirder, but it, that's what it is. Let's just deal with it and move on. Another word that is actually a swear word, I say it in a lot in my videos. I, I, I guess it's better to swear in Swedish, because Unless you're Swedish, no one's gonna know what the hell you're talking about anyway, so... If you're not allowed to swear, you can use this word instead, and it's JÄVLA. Which basically means fuck. So you could say, for example, now we learned... JÄVLA SMÖRGORSTORTA You are now upgraded as a bro. <laughs> That's all the words that you basically need if you are going to Sweden or if you're meeting someone Swedish or if you just are bored and you have nothing else to do, which is probably the case here. <laughs> That's pretty much it for me, bros. I hope you learned a lot and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
Right now you can hit the like button and you will have a free Smurgos Torta. Just for you. Another quick thing is I bought one of these dog electrify leashes. Uh, I have- I don't use it on Edgar, don't worry. Even though I want to. <laughs> Every time. But since I swear so way too much in my videos, I wanted to teach myself. Uh, so I figured if I swear I will shock myself in a video. So go ahead and recommend a game that I can play for this. Because I think I need to learn. And that's pretty much it for me. Stay awesome bros. Here's the brofist for you. Love you bros. Mwah.